The wealthy people have a knack for ridiculously expensive things. From expensive cars to killer mansions, private jets, solid gold trinkets, and the likes, and Jeff Bezos is no exception. Founder and CEO of one of the largest online malls in the world, Jeff Bezos has made a fortune connecting buyers with goods at the convenience of their home. Jeff Bezos is one of the richest men on the planet, and that's a fact. But what the average person out there wants to know is what this business mogul has acquired with his massive wealth. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the top 10 most expensive things owned by Jeff Bezos. We'll look at their worth, value, and when he acquired these things. But before we go into today's exciting video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Now, let's get into it. Number 10. A Robo Dog While you would think Jeff would work around with rare breeds of dogs, this man goes ahead and purchases a robot dog. He's seen walking his yellow-plated robot dog, and it's actually cute. Now, this dog is not like a regular dog. Yeah, it barks, but it only does what it's programmed to do. This means it doesn't poop, get sick anywhere, or do any of those things regular dogs are prone to exhibit. The price of this dog has not been made known, but we all know that the dog must have cost a fortune, which is the only thing we expect from Jeff Bezos, a whopping robot. At number 9, a mansion in Washington, D.C. Jeff Bezos is popular not just for his wealth and his ingenuity, but also for his love of culture and for trying out new things. So in 2016, this multi-billionaire purchased for himself a museum for a whopping $23 million. Not that he bought all the artifacts and historical things in the museums, he just bought the property. Purchasing the $23 million property was not a big deal. The big deal was changing the building into a house fitting for habitation. Jeff restructured and renovated the property, so much so that the former owners may likely doubt if it was the same building. The Washington mansion, after renovation, made headlines. The massive house is complete with 11 bedrooms, 25 bathrooms, 5 living rooms, and 2 elevators. Can you beat that? The house also has swimming pools, large swimming pools I must add, game rooms, movie rooms, security quarters, and a room for state-of-the-art technologies. Now, how's that for transformation? At number 8, a giant timepiece. The tabloids call this a clock, but I feel it's an insult to the $42 million timepiece. This 10,000-year-old clock is by far one of the most expensive timepieces in the history of clocks. And one begins to wonder, is this a time machine? Will this clock predict the hour of Jeff's death? If not, then why spend so much on it? Answer? He has the money. This clock is said to ring only after 10,000 years, and it was designed by an MIT professor, Danny Hillis. While the clock is a masterpiece, and that's all we can say, if people can purchase paintings for ridiculous sums, then Jeff's clock should not come to you as a surprise. At number 7, the Gulf Stream. Some people have money, and some are stinkingly rich. There are levels to this thing, and Jeff is one of those people who are not just wealthy, but are ridiculously wealthy. Everything this man owns speaks of his wealth, and so does his $65 million private jet. Would it not be somewhat unnatural for the second richest person in the world to fly a commercial plane? Time is of the essence, and people like this don't have time for the protocols and shenanigans in airports. Now, as you may have guessed it, this plane is not just an ordinary private jet. Of course, with Jeff, nothing can be ordinary. The Gulfstream is one of the fastest private jets ever built. And this is just what a person like Jeff needs for his many trips and business meetings here and there. The plane is not just a member of the Flash family, it also carries the techiness of Iron Man and the luxury of Tony Stark. The private jet is complete with luxurious suites, the best that money can buy, bars, and even a mini club. And you would ask, what would a busy person like Jeff Bezos need all these things for? Well, even if he is busy and all that, the man loves to unwind between his trips. So why have so much money when you can't sit back and enjoy it? Just for the fun of it? So in his shuffling from Amazon's headquarters in Seattle to Blue Origin's base camp, the senti billionaire unwinds in his high-tech multi-million dollar private jet. Tell me a better way to go by. Number 6. A Sky Mansion do you know what it means to be the second richest man on Earth? 
Well, let me tell you, it means you can buy anything you want, do what you want with it, break records, and set new ones, and the list goes on and on. Jeff Bezos adds class to everything he purchases, and that includes the $96 million apartment the man purchased in the Flatiron Condo, 212 Fifth Avenue, New York City. The deal is rumored to be one of the largest apartment deals ever closed in New York City. Talking about setting new records, Jeff Bezos bought three of the apartments for a whopping $80 million. The billionaire crowned his purchase with the last $16 million apartment. To add to the Bezos feel, the business mogul combined all four apartments into one humongous penthouse. This was reported by the Washington Post. The combined apartments summed up to 23,000 square feet, three stories, and beginning on the 20th floor of the condo. Isn't that amazing? The mansion is complete with tastefully furnished and well-decorated rooms, with parlors in all four apartments. And that's not all. The house features a state-of-the-art swimming pool, game rooms, and a boardroom, a movie theater, and a space that can be used for mini balls and parties. This house fulfills the fantasy of some, a house in the air, heaven on earth. At number 5, his Los Angeles home. If you think the Sky Mansion is crowned at all, then you're in for a shock. Men as rich as Jeff Bezos do not own just one house. It's more like a culture to them, one that has been around from time immemorial. Jeff Bezos' home in LA became the talk of the town when it made headlines. Now this is not because the mansion is beautiful. After all, it's a smart house. The house made headlines because it was the most expensive property in LA at the time. I think it still is. This beautiful palatial mansion comes at a whopping $245 million. Your eyes are popping out, your ears are tingling. Yeah, you heard that right, a staggering $245 million. Jeff Bezos showed the realtors who the boss was, paying more than what the previous owner David Geffen paid for it in the early 1990s. The mansion is known as the Warner Estate, and it cuts across over nine acres in Beverly Hills. This beautiful architectural masterpiece was designed by the former president of Warner Brothers, Jack Warner, in the 1930s. The houses took almost 10 years to construct, which is why it's very rock solid. The mansion features well-pruned terraces, guest houses, a tennis court, and a golf course. Of course, the mega mansion has been renovated from its 1930 self and has been brought up to speed with modern technologies, closed circuit television cameras, and high-definition security devices. This mansion is heavily guarded and is not open to just anybody. This mansion suits the billionaire, who is noted to be a sucker for privacy and closure. At number 4, the Washington Post Company. Jeff Bezos is an astute businessman, and for him, not everything should be luxury. While he understands the place of relaxing, he also understands the place of investing. Jeff Bezos purchased one of the most renowned media houses in the US, the Washington Post Company, in 2013. And this move is proven to be a calculated and very rewarding one. To reach his height of wealth, one cannot bank just on one stream of income, hence the move. The purchase of this 141-year-old media house was made at $250 million. By purchasing the media house, Jeff became the owner of its chief newspaper, The Post. The purchase also earned him total control over publications affiliated with The Washington Post Company. While this solid deal meant a new era for both the company and for Jeff, it meant an end to the Graham family's ownership of the company. This family had owned and controlled the media house for four generations, a very long reign that came to an abrupt end with the wheel and the power of the ridiculously rich Jeff Bezos. At number three, a super yacht. If this was on the list, would you not be surprised? Trust me, I would be. For one as rich as Jeff, it would only be normal to have a ridiculously expensive luxury yacht. This yacht fulfills everybody's deepest fantasies, a cruise with the one you love, with employees to attend to your needs, a silhouette, and Lionel Richie's ballerina girl playing in the background. You're smiling, snap out of it. This yacht is one of the largest of its kind built in the Netherlands. This super yacht is complete with all the luxury you can think of. If you can think of it, it's included in this yacht. The price? A whopping $500 million? Half a billion dollars! Now you know what it means to be called the second richest man on the planet Earth. Number 2. Blue Origin Another investment that has brought good returns, Blue Origin is what Jeff describes as a passion project. 
This company is given to space exploration through the creation of spaceships that would be like commercial airlines. More like commercial spaceships. Jeff Bezos has expressed his interest in exploring other planets and giving humans the choice to live on other planets that can be tweaked to suit human life. While this may look like the mission statement from Elon Musk's SpaceX, I would like to remind you that both men have never seen eye to eye on any issue, both publicly and in their private corners. To give his comp a good boost, Jeff invested a whopping $1 billion in the space project in 2017. As we know, Amazon is Jeff's major profit contributor, and so to fund Blue Origin, the billionaire has had to liquidate stocks from Amazon. He has expressed this in an event in 2019. Jeff said that every time you buy shoes, you're helping fund Blue Origin. So thank you. I appreciate it very much. This shows you how passionate the billionaire is about this project. And at number one, Whole Foods. Now, Jeff started his business with Amazon, an online store. One of the things people buy a lot of, though, are groceries. Maybe he thought instead of selling groceries for people, why not just buy your own grocery company? And voila! Jeff sinks in a whopping $13.7 billion in Whole Foods. This company sells healthy groceries and is based in Austin, Texas. Apparently, his board members did not see the purchase as wise. The man had to defend himself by stating in a press conference that millions of people love Whole Foods Market because they offer the best natural and organic foods and they make it fun to eat healthy. Whole Foods has been satisfying, delighting, and nourishing customers for nearly four decades. They're doing an amazing job, and we want that to continue. And we've come to the end of this video, sadly. I want to know what you think of these expensive things owned by Jeff Bezos. If you were in his shoes, would you own all of these or more? Let me know in the comments section down below. Like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.